Hey love bugs, it's your girl Disasters Beauty coming to you with an update video, okay, and a voiceover. Right here, y'all, I am just um, adding bangs to this unit. This is the bang unit that I received from African Mall. Um, if you are interested in what the wig came in and all of the stuff that came with it, I will have a direct link to the initial video. But right here, I am just adding, I added a few more bangs to the unit because that was what y'all requested. And I did uh, decide to style it in uh, a bun in the top. Now, it could have been neater, but hey, hey, practice makes perfect. But you guys will get the idea. This is a frontal unit. I will have all of that information listed down below in the description box for your convenience as well. And like I said, if you are interested in my initial review, because this is not a review, this is just an update. It's kind of telling you how the wig has lasted, has held up, and I just want to show you guys a little more styling options with this unit. But if you are interested in the initial review, I will have that listed down below for your convenience. But anyways, y'all, get into the styling of this wig. Um, it's not a whole lot I got to say about it. Like... <laughs> So I'm going to let you guys get into the styling and like I said, all the information will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And yeah, I will see you love ups in the outro. Bye. So I am obviously done styling this wig and this is what I came up with So before I get into everything I want to tell you guys where this unit is from what update this is all that good stuff because this is a two-week update So first we'll get into that and then we'll get into me talking about styling the wig and all that I won't say a review per se well kind of a review but more so of an update We'll get into the update portion of this video after I give you guys all the specs and what this update is and blah 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 all that good stuff so we'll do that first and then we'll get into me talking about the update and how the wig is held up and all that good stuff okay so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do that okay so let's get into where this wig is from and all that so this unit was sent to me by african mall so shout out to you african mall for sending me this unit I actually got this wig oh uh, weeks ago I want to say we are actually coming up on three weeks since I released my uh, initial review on this unit so it has been at least three weeks at this point okay <laughs> um, probably by the time you're seeing this video it has been three weeks I released my initial video on July 29th I am recording this video um, today is the 18th of August. Okay, so it's been a while, honey. I'm reaching. I was pushing a month. Like, what? What are you doing, girl? Like, what are you doing? So, <laughs> it has been a while. So let me tell you guys a little bit about this wig, in case you did not see my initial video. In case this is the first video you are seeing on this unit. This unit, um, like I said, was sent to me by African Mall. It is their 180% density pre-plucked straight bob wig. It is 10 inches long. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. It's a bang unit. Hold on now. 
it's a <laughs> it's a bang unit um it came with the bang i did add a few more hairs if you didn't see my initial video i did do that but we'll get into that later okay we'll get into that later but yeah this is a unit that came with a bang if you are interested in my initial review on this unit i will have a direct link to it down below in the description box if i don't have the uh link to it somebody comment down below and say sis sis you forgot okay Comment down below and let me know, and then I'll put it in there. Because, you know, your girl your girl have a lot going on in life, okay? <laughs> I have a lot going on in life. So, it's possible that I'll forget. But if you let me know, then I'll remember to put it in there. Well, I won't remember. You'll remind me. So, yeah, that is pretty much all that is on that. Like, it's not a whole lot that I have to say. Um, if you are interested in this wig, all the information for it will be listed down below in the description box. As well as a direct link to this unit. If I'm not mistaken, this unit was really, really affordable, and I really like that about this unit. Let me check and make sure, honey, because your girl be getting it wrong sometimes. And I don't need Tina coming at me. Tina, Tina, I don't, I don't need you coming at me, girl. Okay, so in 10 inches, this unit is $70, and I, if I'm not mistaken, you will get some sort of a discount with it. I'm, I could be wrong, but even so, even at $70, that is really good for a human hair unit. This is a human hair unit, so if you are interested in this wig, all of that stuff will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Like I said, all that will be listed down below in the description box. And now we can get into my update, okay? Poop though. It has been three weeks since I released my review on this unit. I won't even say it's been three weeks since I filmed the video because I don't remember when I actually filmed it, but it's been three weeks since you guys have seen the review on this unit. Now, I'm going to be honest. I haven't gotten a chance to wear this wig a whole lot. I have worn it maybe, mm, I would say about three times or so, and it has really held up nicely. It's held up the same, you know. I will say that when I put the unit in the box that it came in, because that's how I keep and store all of my wigs. I know a lot of you guys ask me, like, how do you keep these wigs? Whatever box that they came in, that's what they are in in my closet. So when I, I'll say that whenever I have taken this wig off, I always have to uh, flat iron it prior to putting it back on. Like, it, it, it bunches up. And I like that straight look with it, like that sleek look. So you guys did see me straighten the wig. But like I was saying, the wig overall has held up really, really nicely. Um, I'm not mad at it whatsoever, other than the fact that I do have to straighten it every time I wear it, but it is a straight wig. Like, when I, I'm used to kind of wearing curly wigs, and with curly wigs, you ain't got to straighten nothing, okay? All you got to do is apply your mousse and, and let it slay, but with straight wigs, you will typically have to straighten it again. And I wish, when I'm wearing it in this style, I do wish I had an 8-inch bob, because my, my neck isn't long enough for the bob to just rest like I want it to, so I'm, I'm having to do this, like... <laughs> So it will still look bobbish. Now, styling the wig, um, you guys did say that you wanted me to make the bangs thicker. I did bring out more hair to make the bangs a little more thick. And um, some of you did say you wanted to see the, the ball style. And y'all struggle with this ball, okay? Like, I am not the best at these type of styles. Like, you have to bear with your girl, okay? But I gave you the idea of the look, okay? The idea was for it to look like this. So it may not be perfect, but you get the, you get the picture, honey, okay? You get the picture. <laughs> I think it's still sort of cute. Like, do, do y'all think it's still sort of cute? But this wig is versatile. So even though it already come pre-styled, it is a frontal unit and it does have that hair space. Somebody did ask about did the top look realistic. I didn't apply any concealer or anything, but that's what that top looks like. I did add more hair so it looks a little different than when it looked straight out of the packaging, even in that parting space because I pulled more hair out. But you do have enough hair, uh, I mean enough parting space that you can add concealer all that stuff to it to make it look even more realistic this is what it looks like without me applying any concealer any of my pressed powder anything to it so you do have that where it will look realistic now in the back it's not a whole lot of frontal space so you don't get to actually pull up so much hair into this ball that i have it in but it's still enough that it'll give you that overall look and you can make it look more thick you can add more hair to it or whatever you want to do to give it your desired look um these bangs are in my eyes child okay <laughs> they're in my eyes but you know what it is okay because i cut them and i am no i am no hairstylist like i don't ever want you guys to get it twisted your girl is a nurse okay 
all of this stuff, a lot of stuff I learned per internet, just like you guys. So you don't you judge me, okay? I am not a hairstylist. But I feel like I did a decent job and I feel like it came out pretty, you know, pretty natural. Like I said, I did have my struggles with it. But I feel like it, it came out pretty decent. I ain't mad at it. I would wear it just like this, so. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, I think I like the unit. I think the unit is still super cute. Even after three weeks, I actually prefer it more like this. I would try to make it a little more neater. You know, that would take some time and some practice. But I'm not mad at it. So let me know what you guys think. Are you are you interested in this wig? Like for the pricing, you cannot beat it. Like they did the darn thing. I do wish I would have got it in the 8 inch, even though I was worried about being Dora, honey. I still wish I would have got it in the 8 inch. But overall, just the wig in general, I am not mad at it. The hair hasn't given me any troubles. I did use some mousse for some of the flyaways. It does have some flyaways, so keep that in mind. But you can just put some mousse, slap, slap some mousse on that, on them flyaways and call it day, sis. Okay, don't be worried about all the flyaways. I don't really care about a flyaway, but I know some people do. But overall, yeah, the wig is super cute. I ain't mad at it. I'm glad I finally got this video filmed. And once again, shout out to you, African Mall, okay? Shout out to you, you the real MVP. Okay, so now I'm going to give you guys a full 360, and we can wrap this thing all the way up. So I'm not going to do a limp check because obviously this is all the hair. Like, it's, it's 10 inches of hair, girl, okay? <laughs> this is the unit in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. And this is it on the right side. I was trying to lean back some so you guys could really look at the, the parting space there because I had to make sure that no tracks were showing. You don't want your tracks showing, child, when you're wearing it up in a ball or however you are wearing it. You don't want all, you know, you don't want all your stuff showing. But, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, okay, it is late at night. I know I look washed out. I probably look a whole mess. My make makeup probably look a whole mess. Don't judge me, girl, okay? It is like 11, 24 at night. I had to wait till my kids went to sleep to film this video. It is Sunday, okay? It is Sunday. I should be in my bed resting comfortably, and I am filming this video for y'all because I love y'all, okay? <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. But anyways, I am done. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, something you feel like I made her left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to so Get Your Life, click that subscribe button. And also, if you are interested in this hair from African Mall, all of that information will, once again, be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, also, y'all, don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. I am Disastrous Beauty on both the IG and Facebook. I'm held to Miss C on Snapchat, and I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you love bugs next time. Bye.